This couple's from Colorado. <laughs> this couple's from Colorado. Erie, Colorado, help me welcome Abby and Eric McMaster. This is unreal for us to be here today. Um, we just want to thank the Regis family, Richard and Sherry, and we want to have this opportunity to thank all the amazing leaders within this company for your hard work, your dedication, and your belief in this company that has paved the path for the rest of us in here today to live our dreams. So thank you. We also want to thank our amazing team. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Your hard work, your belief in us, and the dedication that you have to go and not only change your family's life, but all the families all around you, is truly inspirational. So thank you guys, we love you. Yes. We are so excited to be up here. And to all of you that I completely avoided today, I apologize. <laughs> But our journey began two and a half years ago. And at that time, my girlfriend, Lindsay Gorski, gave me a spark. And honestly, that's what I was looking for at that time. I was a tired mom, so I was looking for anything to give me that energy. And I drank that first spark, and I remember thinking, holy cow, I'm going to drink that for the rest of my life. But truly, you guys, that's where we thought our journey was going to begin and end with AdvoCare. Until one day, we decided that Eric needed to lose a little bit of weight. I was still carrying a little baby weight from 08 that I needed to get rid of, so. <laughs> so as a supportive wife, I went ahead and decided to try the 24-day challenge with him. And naturally, we both had great results. And obviously, people started saying, what are you doing? And I very casually said, oh, it's a 24-day challenge. Have you heard of AdvoCare? And before you knew it, we earned a check for $50. And at that time, when I saw $50, I saw hope. Because you see, we were the family that lived with a mask on. And what I mean by that is on the outside, it looked really pretty. Nice cars, nice house, beautiful children, but on the inside, we were drowning in debt. And so I opened that front door and I put on my mask and I smiled and made, made everyone think it was just fine. And I shut that front door and there were tears and there was stress and it was ugly. And so when I saw $50, I saw hope. The problem was I had this skeptical husband, and almost even worse, we had skeptical parents. But I knew if we had made $50 that we could do more if I just kept sharing. Well, let me take you back six years and, and kind of give you a storyline on how we got into that mess. Uh, in corporate America, I was that guy that was always chasing that next promotion, always chasing the next dollar. The next promotion came with more money, yes, but it often came with a relocation. So we were able to take one of those promotions and, and move to San Diego and uprooted my family. We moved off to San Diego and two years, less than two years into that promotion, I was part of a corporate layoff. And that truly turned our world upside down. We went from being pretty comfortable financially to stressing, like Abby said, every day about finances because we ran through our entire savings account. We started to pile up credit card debt like nobody's business. And what happened from there is it took a toll on our marriage. And we began to fight about things that we never fought about before. So when Abby brought this idea to me of $50 or of, of AdvoCare, I kind of laughed and I said, there, there's no way. That's just another thing we can't afford. There's no way we can do that. So she brings home $50 the first check. And I was that dream killer, guys. I wasn't supportive. I said, we'll never see that $50 from this company. It's one of those things. And that's where I decided to prove him wrong. <laughs> and so I got to work, and I started talking to everybody I knew about this amazing product called Spark, or called Spark and the 24-day challenge. And before you knew it, we were making an extra $500. And that was great, but you guys, we were drowning in debt so much that it really didn't even make a dent in what we needed. And so I'm going to take you guys back to a day where I really realized 
how badly we needed this. And it was a day that I had my little four-year-old daughter at the grocery store. And we were shopping for groceries like any other day, had a shopping cart full, and she had picked out some popsicles that she wanted. And as we went through that line, I went ahead and started playing that game of, is the debit card going to go through or is the debit card going to decline? And unfortunately, that day, our debit card declined. And I had to leave that grocery store, not only with the entire grocery store staring at me, but with a four-year-old little girl looking at her mommy with tears in her eyes, not knowing why she couldn't get her popsicles. And as a mom, that will, that will make the mama bear come out. That will change things for you, and that will make you rip that mask off and not care. You are going to share with everybody what this opportunity was. I stopped leading with the product, and I started leading with what this business was going to do for our family. And so that's what I did. We got out there and we got to work. And two months later, we were averaging $1,000 a month, a month, which was fantastic. But I'll tell you, it wasn't until we got to our first success school in January of 2013 that I really saw what this company was. Eric and I walked into that success school together, and we saw people just like us who had overcome obstacles in their life because of AdvoCare. And we sat there together, and finally, we were on the same page. We finally left that success school knowing that this was going to be the vehicle to change all of our circumstances. I left that success school in January of 2013, and I came home, and I threw my ego out the window. Because that's what was holding me back from believing in this company. And it didn't matter what other people thought of what we were doing. All I knew and I cared about was that we needed to find a solution to fix our family circumstances. And I knew that AdvoCare was going to be that vehicle to do so. Absolutely. Over the past two and a half years, we've helped a lot of people. That's it. We've gone with our purpose, because our pur purpose was so strong to help our family, but to help so many families out there. We've been able to pay off over $103,000 using the Debt Buster system, which is incredible. Yes, get it? Fantastic. But also, it's allowed us to create memories for our children. And if we have a picture, Back in October, one of our biggest dreams has always been to take our kids to Disney World. And that was something that we never really knew how we were going to do. We always said we would, but we didn't know how. And so we were able to surprise them in October with a Disney World vacation. And we woke them up one day from for school, and we said, all right, guys, let's have breakfast. And we sat them down, and we said, you know what? Let's not have breakfast. Let's go to Disney World. And that was all because of AdvoCare. And not only did we go to Disney World, but we also did a Disney cruise. And one of the coolest moments was we opened that front door, making our kids think we were going to get in the car and go to Disney World, and there was a limo there. And our little boy sat there in the limo and looked at me and said, Mommy, you did this for us? And I said, Yes, buddy, we love you. And he said, Thank you, AdvoCare. I love you, AdvoCare. <laughs> and, uh, we still, and I just died laughing because I thought, this is what this company does for your family that an eight-year-old little boy can see the change that we have made in our family because of our yes two and a half years ago. And so I want you guys to know that there are two paths that you can take today. You can take the path of purpose, or you can take the path of excuses. And I know for us, we're going to take that path of purpose because we've seen it's what it's done for our family. But what path do you choose to take? I want to leave you with one thing right here real quick. And Deborah and Humphrey Fisser brought this, into our, this motto into our life about a month ago. And we live by it now. And I want you all to leave here this weekend. And I want you to dream one size too big. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time. Come on, let's go. Colorado. Unstoppable.